It's now May 20th. The chine logs are on. Got them fastened every four inches from the inside. The number eight by seven eighths screw. And I've got a number 10 inch and a half at the front here going into the stem. That's where I started. I fastened that and then bend it around. I had it clamped in place first and pre-drilled all the holes. Because it has to bend both ways. It bends around the hole and then in the back it has to bend edgeways and form to the rocker in the hole. There's rocker forward too but not as much as there is in the back. Another number 10 inch and a half screw going there in, into the butt block and then another one going back here into this frame and one in the transom. In the inside I've got cut screws all countersunk and sealed over with uh, epoxy using a quick tear epoxy buddy and I've got it pretty much leveled got my straight edge here I level these initially with uh, my grinder with a sanding disc on it start off with a 36 and finish with a 60 and then I use my file keeping it level check it with my straight edge and finished up a piece of coarse sandpaper and a, pretty, a real straight stitch from one side to the other. Just work it down. I'm filleting all the inside corners on my rails here at the bow. I'm using a, a Systems 3 product, Easy Fillet. It's a wood flour epoxy paste. It's it's really strong. And what I'm using is the baggie method. I mix up a big glob of it and put it in a baggie and then trim the end off and use that to squeeze it in. And then I have my putty knife here that's ground on a 3 8 radius. It's 3 quarter inch. Actually it's about the size of my finger because I wind up sanding like that. And I use that to lay it in with and then I come back and scrape along the edges because it eliminates a lot of sanding. In places like here where I'm gradually fairing it in I'm using and this is actually it's an old uh, plate clutch plate from a Borg Warner Marine transmission. It's a reverse plate and it's a little over seven inches in diameter and I use that to get that nice fill along there and anywhere where I want a gradual blending from like the side to the stem. I'm fitting the furthest aft bottom panel now. Got my butt block on there. And I've got it fastened with, I'm using galvanized screws. I had some galvanized one inch number 10 wood screws and uh, I'm using those spaced every four inches. And I've got one on the end, I've got a inch and a quarter number eight. It's actually a galvanized deck screw. I like to use galvanized on the bottoms. Uh, they're a little tougher coating than the plated. Still steel, I just like the steel screws because they're strong and affordable. So I've got it anchored with one screw on each side and I've traced around the bottom on the outside in the back and I've marked it wherever there's a, a fastening so that I don't hit the fastings that are already in there. Down about an eighth inch out from the line, so I'll have something to grind down flush with. 
And then I'll mark and spot drill it from the inside and put it back on and drill for all my screws. And that's these that I'm using. The galvanized exterior deck screw says Weather Max. I've used them on the Janny J, and they're very strong. They hold well, and, and they don't rush. You'd have to leave them soaking in seawater before they'd ever rust. I want to show how I spot drill these things. I got the draw piece all over it. The marks on here. Inside here are where the fastest draw and the more the group of the pumpkin are. And this thing is here. It's only 36 feet from the outside. So I'll put this back on and I'll go to my next slide. So this is the bar and I'll put this down here. Through and down the center. Through the point of the button on the bar. A couple of inches and I'll have to move it and I'll have to move it. Bottom's on. I'm uh, turning her over on her cradle. Thank you. 